And welcome to Encounters in Ecto with Michelle and Denise, brought to you by King's Cannabis. We got a good show for you tonight. What do you think about ghost hunter shows? Let us know in a few. We'll be right back. Swords they clash and chariots rattle, seeking out the one whose time has come to take the blade. Morrig an ancient crone of war, I see your face, I'll cry no more. Morrig an ancient crone of war, come lift me on your wings. Morrig an ancient crone of war, I hear your voice, I'll breathe no more. Morrig an ancient crone of war, come set my spirit free.
Morgan, for 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 Morgan
And we're here. Hey, everybody. How you doing? We're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I cannot believe it's been two weeks already. I know, right? It doesn't seem like it at all. It seems like it just flies by. I yeah. mean, it just flies by. It's so crazy. I agree. Totally. Um. So tonight's subject, we're going to talk about ghost hunter shows and ghost hunters and some crazy stories. So, yes, I have a really crazy story. It's kind of long. She sent me these papers, and it's kind of handwritten. So when I read it, I'm going to be like, I'm going to try to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> That's but like reading my own right. handwriting. Sometimes I can't do. It. Like, what the hell is that? One? I wrote it, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. I called her and asked some questions about this because sometimes when people send me stories, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one, I mean, she pretty much sounds legit, and it's like she almost wrote it like a story. Hmm. So, I kind of like that, you know. So. Okay. Cautionary tale type story, but yeah. Cool. Very cool. So why don't you go ahead? We're, I'm listening. Uh, Okay, this is from a friend of mine that I've known for quite a few years, but I didn't meet her until later on in high school, so this was after this event, and oddly, we never talked about this, so, you know, which is really bizarre, because mm -hmm. I'm, you know, me, I'm all about talking about the paranormal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like somebody says he's a marble rolling across. Well, I'm like, dude, let me tell you a story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hang on. Here we go. <laughs> but anyways, I didn't I didn't meet her till like later on in high school. And this apparently happened to her when she was like preteen, teenager, you know, uh -huh. like 12, 13 years old. Okay, it says, she says, I don't, normal, don't normally speak of this. In fact, it scares me to talk about it to this day. But if this saves even one person from the torment we went through, it's worth it. Before the internet, before cell phones, life was a little different. We pretty much had to create our own fun and our own interest. What the heck? That's true. Okay. It says, it's it's weird to think about it being over 30 years ago when I was a preteen teenager. In fact, it was 1984. I was 13 at the time, but I had friends ranging in age from 11 to 14. Uh, oh, a famous movie recently came out where the kids called themselves the Loser Club. We all know yep. what that movie is. Yep. <laughs> Yep. We we called ourselves just simply the losers. I guess everyone feels that way at that age. One summer afternoon, we all was hanging out and bored. Bored out of our skin, in fact. And we decided to go to the mall and hang out. Hey, I remember doing that. And cool off. Yeah, yep, yep. We were there for about an hour, and we decided to go to the toy store. I remember those, too. Yep. While there, we... <laughs> While we were there, we just roamed around the store, and we came across a Ouija board. It seemed kind of cool. The lady at the counter practically gave it a stamp of approval. She talked us into it. Not one of us could afford it alone at the time, but we all pulled our money together, and we bought it. We couldn't decide who would take it home at first, so we decided to put it in our clubhouse, which was actually a run-down shed on my friend's uncle's land. See, I'm not going to stuff yeah, I was going to say, what are you doing over there? <laughs> 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 Investigate. Okay. We brought it out every day to play with it and ask it questions. It was silly questions, like if boys were liking us or if we were going to be rich, stuff like that. We, of course, were convinced each other was moving it. One night, my friend's older sister came in and told us we were using it all wrong. She started asking things like who we were talking to and how they died. At first, it didn't answer. Then she demanded that they answer and threatened to stop using the board and burn it. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> if it didn't answer. The person said that they were named Jimmy and said that they were murdered. 
and then said nobody is nobody is going to demand anything of him and oh. asked why we were waking him up we all <laughs> we all got scared and put it away as soon as as soon as put it away and as soon as we put it away a strong gust of wind came and the shed started caving in we all got out just in time before the roof collapsed Jeez, wow that night I started seeing a black figure in my room. I screamed and turned on the lights, and no one was there. My dad searched the room, but nobody was around. The next day, I found out my friend's older sister got into a car wreck. She was alive, said a man just appeared in the middle of the road, and she swerved to not hit. I also found out that each of my friends had experiences. A couple heard whispers in their rooms, and one said that she felt someone scratching her. We all knew it was we all knew it was Jimmy, or thought it was. We oh we bought flowers to go to the shed and apologize for waking him up. That night it was bad, really bad. Ooh. I seen the figure again, and he was moving around my room. The next day, I found out one of my friends tried to kill herself by taking a bunch of her mother's pills. I knew it was him. I knew it was. She would have never done that. When I saw her in the hospital, she said that she wouldn't, that he wouldn't be quiet. She couldn't take another second of him whispering and talking. It was nonstop. He said that he would be quiet if she took the pills. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. She said she agreed and took them and then threw them up and after told her mom. Nothing else happened to her after that, but she felt depressed all of a sudden and stopped hanging out with us. Let's see. Oh, I seen the figure for two more years after that. My other friend still had experience as well. It was... It was my second year of high school when I met this strange boy. He came up to me and told me that a man was following me, but he's not a man. Well, not anymore, he said. Oh. <laughs> right? Jeez. <laughs> like I said, this is like Holy insanity. Cow. <laughs> okay. He told me he was a strong, strong spirit and no longer a man. He had strong powers. Then the longer we kept him around, the stronger he would get. He told me that he was attacking my family. And over the past few years, my family had had many health problems, everything from heart attacks to strokes to cancer. He told me to take, take, oh, to take me and my friends to his mother. Come find, come to come to find out, his mother was a local palm reader. I thought it was a strange thing at first but she knew too much she told me things that that nobody else could know she told me about the shed and the rubble and how the rubble was still there and we had to get the board out of the rubble and burn it and that was the first step so we went to the shed and we went through the rubble and we got out the board and we did what she asked and we built the campfire and we burned the board and then the oddest part came she told us that we all had to have exorcism. I couldn't believe it. I, of course, was thinking of pea soup and heads turning around. <laughs> but what actuality she did, she sprinkled us with holy water and surrounded us with smoke from sage and said some prayers and a couple what she called spells and demanded him to leave us alone. <sighs> After that night, I never saw him again, but I think of him often. He's always in my mind and always in my psyche. My friends are the same way. They said that they, they can never have peace of mind because he's always in the back of their head. And the friend that I had who tried to commit suicide ended up getting into drugs and has been in and out of rehab for the last 30 years. Oh. Yeah. My other friend's older sister who had gotten a car wreck, got heavily into, into 
the occult and is trying to help others the way that the kid and his mother helped us. But it is something that never leaves your soul and your mind completely. She says, please don't ever get out one of these boards. They are so dangerous and you will never have the same life again. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why does that sound so familiar? That somebody because it happens all the time. Because as him say, a kid at school coming up to somebody saying, you have somebody following you. God, that sounds so familiar. Yeah, that I was is like, just wild. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, now I've done the Ouija board when I was younger, of course. We all did. We all did, and we yeah. all had the same kind of experience where you pick up goat. I mean, these things are just, I mean, it's, you know, it's like I said, this story, you know, no offense to my friend, but I mean, it'll, some of it sounds like it was a little embellished, we'll say. <laughs> I mean, it may not have been, I don't know. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, in general, it does, but I'm not saying that, you know, I'm just saying maybe she did it for effect. I don't know. But the the general story, the general message is right. the same with Ouija boards. Do not use them. Yeah, I used them all the time. There was nothing. And I now, didn't have when any. When I was younger, we had stuff that yeah. happened. So. Uh, I don't remember anything. Just once. But, but that it's, was just, it. it's just the thing for me. It's like you're opening a doorway that yeah. should not be open. Yeah. And if you do... Number one, don't do it alone and make sure you close it. That is a key. But that's the thing is most people don't know how to close that's it. That's true. So that's true. it's like just don't mess with it to begin with. Because like you even bring one of those boards into like a psychic shop or something yeah. or any kind of any kind of spiritual shop, they will flat out tell you, get that thing the hell out of here. Yeah. yeah. They want nothing to do with it because they know what comes through it. You yeah, may well, think you're talking to something, but you're not talking to that. You're talking to something else. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah. Well, back then, they didn't tell us any of that. It was just a, a oh. game, you know, who oh, knew? Of course. Yeah, exactly. And nobody but, knew. But what's funny is this thing was based on something that started hundreds of years ago where yes. they took little pieces of paper mm -hmm. and wood and they just laid yep. it across the table and it was the same type of thing and they used it to get spirits. Yeah, yep. So they, they knew what they were thinking. Mm, yeah. Interesting. So. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's creepy. But the story is always the same, you know what I mean? People yeah. have bad experience, yeah. they let bad things in, spirits stay, you know, yeah. and then, you know, something similar happened to me as a kid, not quite that to that extreme, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Wow. I was going to ask, I'm glad she went into her friends, because I was going to ask if that one was okay later. Wow, yeah. I guess not. Yeah, so apparently she ended up getting... So apparently this this thing got into her head yeah. so bad, and it scared her so bad that she just couldn't snap out of it. Wow, that's sad, really. It really is, if you think about it, you know. And then the one who got in a car accident got into the cold so bad, but she's trying to help people, but still, yeah. it's probably not a path she would have chosen. But probably not. Probably not. I would say no, probably not. Absolutely not. That's like, yeah. hmm, interesting. But you think about this, all this came out just because they picked up a freaking Ouija board. Yep. Well, I, like I said back then, that day, you know, it was a game. Nobody oh, yeah. said it was well, dangerous. Well, she said at the beginning, they were asking a dumb question. Yeah. You know, well, we all did that. Like, yeah. Who are you going to marry? Yeah. yeah. Who, who are you going to marry? You know, yeah, we all did that. It was the sister, the, the one that got into the occult later, is the one that told him you're using it wrong. Oh. So she's the one that came in and was like, you know, basically demanding, yeah. like, tell me who you are, tell me how you died, that kind of crap. Yeah. No, absolute no, no. Absolutely. We, no. as kids, got told that somebody died. It was like 13-something. And we asked how they died. And they said it was crucified, which, of course, we were young kids. We didn't know right. how to spell right. like We had to look it up in the dictionary after just to make sure it was spelled right. Right. We asked if it had a message for us. It said, leave them asleep or suffer my wrath. Ooh. So <laughs> now, now one twice, That's twice. To scare, yeah. We actually did. Um, well, my girl, my friend Liz, um, always had her there because she, you know, she knows all about that shit. But anyway, um, her father's shop 
There were things hanging on the wall, things like that. And she always knew it was haunted, you know, basically. So we do, uh, six of us went and did the, uh, you know, Ouija board there because she wanted the answers. And yeah. shit was swinging, chains were swinging, um, banging, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, we found out there definitely, um, it used to be, we investigated it afterwards, researched it, and that was, there's an underground tunnel there for the runaway slaves. Fort oh, Clinton wow. is big for that here. <coughs> Excuse me. Fort Clinton is a big area that had a lot of that going on. So, and that's what it was. It was uh, the slaves. And it was bizarre. And then we had bought a building in town. And this thing, my husband at the time, um, he would stay there days on end, days on end. Um, it's like he couldn't leave. And when he came home, he was just really off the wall weird. Okay. Really? Yeah. He he'd be welding or something. And he'd swear somebody was behind him. So and different things going on there. And so Liz came in. A bunch of us, the same six of us, went over there. And it was supposed to have been a, a woman spirit. And she just came out and said, you know. She didn't want him leaving. I'm like, okay, this is great. Oh, wow. Possessive ghost, that's great. So, yeah, that place was creepy, especially at night. You did not want to go up there at night, definitely. Um, you always uh, felt like, you know, like you were being watched, like somebody's right behind you. Oh, yeah. You know, but, yeah, so twice um, things did happen. It was bizarre, totally bizarre, but true. Yeah, I won't. Oh, yeah, I totally believe it. Like, when we used to use it, sometimes we would we would have a tape recorder. We would record it. Mm -hmm. Like, you could actually hear voices. Yeah, yeah. That weren't ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely want to. Now, I want to go on an overnight ghost hunt myself just to I, see. You know, I want to investigate. I want to see. Um, now, I'm the opposite. I'm the one that I stay away from that crap because I believe in, like, what... You know, like that show Dead Files, Amy oh, Allen. Yeah. Yeah. You can bring stuff back with you, number one. Yeah, that's true. Number two, I'm not going looking for trouble. You know what I mean? Because I'm the type of person, I, things attract to me anyways. That's the weird, true. bizarre. That's to true. Me. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> true. And yeah. I don't want anything trying to come home with me, yeah. you know? Yeah, I don't want that either. I don't think that would happen. Uh, but I want to experience it for myself yeah you know i've experienced things yeah but nothing to that extent uh, well, so. like for me especially where you take care of your granddaughter mm -hmm. i don't know that i would risk that <sighs> i don't know. especially where she already attracts things oh that's true. you know what i mean yeah. if you ever yeah. brought something home and it stuck to her you would never forgive yourself you're right i wouldn't i wouldn't I mean, I may that's take just, some precautions ahead of time, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, it's something, just, I mean, yeah, I just, like I said, I, I'm, <laughs> like, we're talking about these ghost hunter shows tonight. Yeah. I think a lot of them, you know, like I said, they, they stir up these spirits, yeah. and they, they, to me, I think a lot of them just piss them off. Oh, yeah, we were talking about uh, ghost adventures. Oh, that show. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to believe for me that that's on the same channel as the Dead Files, because she's like dead set against yeah. the ghost hunters, and she's like, no, don't do this, because, you know, how would you feel if you were dead and people were coming in? Like, Yeah, well, he's getting real antagonistic. I don't know. Yeah, it's like we were talking. He's changed. He has, and it's like, it seems like it's beginning. He almost had more respect. Yes. He's like, look, you know, this is scaring people, blah, blah, blah. And now he's more like, you will leave. And you and it's like, who the hell are you? Yeah, he's very antagonistic now. Yeah. And Aaron, too, with him. It's just like. Well, Aaron, it's so weird on that show. When that show first started, he was like this little. Mouse. That was scared of everything. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't even go in certain places and rooms because he was so afraid. Yeah of stuff and now he's like wearing dark I mean I'm not saying dark clothes is associated with anything but like just his whole his whole demeanor has yes. changed his his um personality the way he dresses yeah. everything 
Yeah. Just, Do you think that's why Nick left? Nick Roth? I know that he had a lot of problems, like family stuff that went on. Yeah. Like people in his family, you know, so I think, I think a lot of it had to do with that because he, he was having like really bad luck in places that they were going to. They were yeah. mentioning him by name. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Very true. I like the show uh, he did with uh, Katrina, Paranormal Lockdown. I thought yeah. that was pretty interesting. What do you think of this one with Jack Osborne? Highway to Hell or something like that? The what? I'm sorry? The one with Jack Osborne. Which one is that? I believe it's called Highway to Hell or something like that. Oh. I... And it's, basically, it's basically the same thing. It's where they're locked in a... Not Haunted Highway. That was his old one. Yeah. But now it's like something hell. Hmm. He's doing the show. And I think he's not really... I Just Portals to Hell, that's what it's called. Oh, Portals to Hell? Um, I like it. I liked what I saw, Portals to Hell. Um, that was interesting. Um... Because that's, um, Katrina's in that, and Jack Osborne, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he used to be in the, the paranormal uh, state. I didn't like paranormal that? state. I did not well, like it. Remember that years ago, it was the Penn State yeah. um, Paranormal Society, and she yeah. was part of that. Yeah, yeah, I, did, I didn't like paranormal state at all, um, but I like portals to hell. Um That's kind of like the paranormal lockdown thing, but they work well together. What was that stupid one they had on where they made their uh, the clients put on the hood and that crap? What the hell? Why would you do that? I remember, they put like that burlap sack. Yeah. Why would you do that to somebody? I don't know. To me, that was just the dumbest show ever, but yeah. I don't even know if it's on anymore. No, I don't think so. I was I like, why would you do that? You're trying to help them, not, you know, scare the living daylights out of them. Yeah, um, I still, you know, God, yeah, that's, for me, like, the best, I mean, one of the best ones, I, you know, me, like I said, I, yeah. I love the Dead Files, that's, like, yeah. for me, the best one, only because she's in there trying to help these people to tell them how to stop this haunting yes. Yes. without hurting the spirits that are there, right. or the ones that are antagonistic, trying to get rid of them. Yeah, keep them out, so, yeah. Yeah, she can go in and, like, tell you, okay. This is wrong, this is wrong, this is what you need to do. Um, a lot of them, like, I don't mind ghost hunters because they go in and they try to debunk stuff. Right. Because a seen... lot of people do mix up stuff, you know. Did you, um, have you seen the new one? Which one? The new ghost hunters with Grant, Grant's no. back. Because he actually wants to help people. You know, yeah. they've been good yeah. so far. I, I've enjoyed it, the new people. Oh, Grant came back. Huh? Yeah, Grant's the one who started the new one, which was surprising. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought for sure it'd be Jason, but it wasn't. So Jason's not in the new one? No. So now it's flip-flopped. It used to be Jason and no Grant. Yeah. Now it's Grant and no Jason? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, he brought it back. He said the kids are grown and everything, it's time to come back. So. <coughs> you, know, you know he has a band? I have what? No, I he didn't. He's a fan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he does. Well, he's they own the fan. him and Jason own the Spalding yeah. house. So. Yeah, but it's it's uh. Spalding Inn. It's, yeah, and it's um something about uh, I'm trying to remember their the name of their actual paranormal company. Taps. Yes. Mm -hmm. Taps. Yeah, and they run out of Rhode Island. You're right. I've been by there. I've actually seen it. It's pretty cool. Cool. They, they have the van and stuff, but um, that was years ago when they very yeah. first came out. I'm trying to look at this new. It's actually pretty good. I, I So far, I'm impressed with what he's done. 
because that's his he idea. A, he has a band called Carpet Shark. Okay. <laughs> Who knew? Who right? Knew? Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> He's a busy guy. Yeah, see, and Jason started his family, like, kind of after Grant did, right? Mm. Yeah, his, uh, I think his kids were younger. Yeah. Yeah. He may be back someday yet. Who knows? Yeah, I would like them to do it. I, I mean, I, are they just not getting along? Is that why they can't I have no idea. Together? Or I, a lot of it when they stop. They don't, they don't talk crack about each other. No. So even no. if they are, you'll never know. Yeah, it. no. Um, at the time when they stopped Ghost Hunters, it was family. Uh, they weren't spending enough time with their, they wanted to spend time with their family. Uh, you yeah. know, the kids were growing up, yada, yada, you know. Um, now I'm sure they still talk, as far as I know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I can so, find anything. In your opinion, what's the best one out there right now to watch? Um, Dead Files. Yeah, that's of course. That's, to me, that's top. Uh, yeah, that's number one in my book. Now, what's your worst one? Oh, that paranormal Besides state. That burlap sack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that that paranormal state. I hate it. You hated paranormal state. Yeah, but I that's didn't. Not out it. That's not on anymore. No, but that was the worst one. The worst one on now. Let me think. I don't know. Ghost bait. That's what that one was called. Ghost. Oh yeah, ghost bait. I think it's still on. Actually, I'm not sure, but I, I did not like it. No, that was the worst. That was horrible. Yeah, it's, it's so bad. It's yeah. So bad. I'm looking oh, up. God. No. And these people like sitting there screaming. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And they they do that to the poor client. I'm like, what? Yeah, I I did not like that show. Now, see, Paranormal State when it first came out, I kind of liked it because it seemed like they were because they were another one. They were really trying to help people. Yeah. And they had you know that that um, Warren. She was on there a lot helping them. Yeah, Katrina. Uh, on Paranormal State. Oh yeah. Oh the, yeah. Um, and I can't think of her now. Warren was her last name. Uh, Jesus, what the hell's wrong with me? Okay, hold on. Okay. The couple, the famous couple that's from, like, uh... Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought there was... Didn't one shoot the other one or something, though? Lorraine Warren. Oh. She did a, she yes. did a lot of... She, she helped him a lot on Paranormal State. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, she was on that show a lot. She helped them out a lot. But it was like the show with like the demons and stuff like that. Okay. Um Jason is gonna be returning um to television with fellow ghost hunter Stephen Salvis and Dave Tango for a travel channel series, Ghost Nation. So oh, they're wow. each doing their own thing. Um it says no, there's no falling out. Um So, okay. but he's going to, he's going to have, uh, Steve and Dave back. I love Steve. He was hilarious. Him and spiders. Yeah. Dear God. It's supposed to be this fall. What's really odd about the, uh, the Penn State Research Society, yeah. the paranormal state, the yeah. guy who was the main character, you know, Ryan, was on the, you know, he was the main person for Paranormal State. Yeah. He claimed that there was denom uh, demonic um, things following him around. Yeah, yeah. And somebody confirmed that, so that you have a demon following, and he, like, ended up getting all kinds of trouble, and, like, just all kinds of bad things happened to him. Yeah. Ryan Bell, I think he fell his name. But, yeah, he, uh, <coughs> and he's with the Effie that was on the show. Mm-hmm. What, uh, which parent, which paranormal couple, they were on a lot, gosh, which one was it, I can't remember, but it was a couple and then found out, um, what she, 
he shot her? Oh, I don't know. I never heard of Oh, that. yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see. That's crazy. Yeah. They were on quite a bit. Nuts. Are you talking about Mark and Debbie from Ghost Adventures? Yes. I think so. Um, yeah, yeah, that says, uh, it said, a uh, couple yes. featured on Ghost Adventures yes. had an apparent murder suicide. Constantino's, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It says, cell style. Paranormal investigators Mark and Debbie Constantino mm -hmm. and a third still identified man were killed yesterday in Sparks, Nevada when a domestic violence incident turned deadly. Right. The Constantinos built themselves as an electronic voice phenomenon experts and made frequent appearances on reality shows about the supernatural, notably reoccurring on TV, our travel channels, and ghost adventures. The couples were estranged and other couple were estranged and Debbie Costello had been living with two roommates. Yeah, do you know why? It says approximately 8 a.m. Tuesday, the police were called to the apartment after one of her roommates found their male roommate dead and Debbie missing. Yeah. Police eventually discovered that she had been held hostage by Mark Costantino in an apartment belonging to one of the couple's adult children. Attempts at negotiating Mark Costantino's <laughs> surrender failed, and around 1.30 p.m., SWAT team breached the apartment door and found both dead on the floor. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you know what the issue was? The domestic violence? It was yeah. her. She was the one arrested for domestic violence. But he's the one that kidnapped her though. Yeah. He, I guess he had enough because of what she was doing to the kids. Um, she, so they're all, their daughter was also charged as an accomplice. Yeah, yeah, because of the domestic violence with her. Uh, she was arrested in 2012 for domestic battery. On her husband. That's crazy. Deborah, yeah, it's just the it, yeah. Deborah attempted to kick her, her. Yeah, Deborah attempted to kick her daughter out of the house, and violently pushed her husband, you know, right in front of the police. Oh wow! Uh, she was in 2015. She was busted again for domestic battery. She used a grapefruit knife on her husband. So, do you think that being around the paranormal has something to do with this, uh, or me? I would like to know their history. Yeah, That's yeah, I yeah. Uh, she was prone to boozing it up pretty well. Um, yeah. She s slashed his arm um, in the kitchen. It was. So, do you think being around the paranormal and like messing? I don't think it helped. I don't think it helped her. Yeah, probably not. They probably honed in on that illness. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's crazy. Mm -mm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yeah. Okay, so so like ranking them, like we both agree there's a dead file. Yes. Yes. Because she is just amazing. Amy Allen is just I mean. I know. Crazy amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And you know people have claimed, oh well, they set it up all, well, but they they have done blind things with her. Yeah. And they even did a scan of her brain. Mm -hmm. She has brain waves that nobody else has. Like nobody. When she goes into these states and she's talking to spirits and things. Right. So, I think she's amazing. Uh, I do too. And they used to use her on investigation. Yes. Yes, they did. The yep. Especially ones, you know, that really stumped them. But she's, she's amazing, I think. I think she's the real deal for sure. Well, and I like the fact, like I said, that she goes in these houses and she will tell people, you know, you're also doing things wrong. She will tell them, you yeah. know, you did this, you did this, you know. You brought in a Ouija board, that pissed them off. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You brought the portal into your home by bringing that Ouija board in. Yeah. She's another one that hates Ouija boards. Oh, yeah. So, it's like, <laughs> you know, um, and she's one that, like you say, you want to go to these, she's against that. You tell she you know, don't go on these ghost hunting things because you're leaving yourself open to bringing things home with you. Hmm. 
you know, and she said that several times, you know, unless you specifically know how to keep these things off you and you know how to close yourself off and all these things and you're trained to do this, don't do it. You know? <laughs> so. Well, all righty. <laughs> you're like, fine, I'm not going to. Hey, I might anyway. Um, but, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely Dead Files is the top for me. Oh, yeah. And then, I, like I said, I think Ghost Hunters. And there's so many because Dead Files, really, the success of Dead Files and Ghost Hunters, mm -hmm. I think really, like, well, I think actually it was uh, Paranormal State was before a lot of them. Or yeah. they came out right about the same time as Ghost Hunters. Yes. I can't remember. Yep. But the popularity of that show, that show was so popular, it was insane. Yeah. I mean, kids, adults, everybody was watching that show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yes. But then I don't know exactly what happened to it, but it kind of went to the wayside. And then Ghost Hunters was the next big one. Right. You know? It was the next one that people were, like, really into it. Because, like I said, they were debunking it. Yes. Yes. They go in and say, okay. In. Who's that? What's that? You yeah. Know? Yeah. They were like, all right, no, this is this is this. This electronic this this, this could cause hallucinations, and air in your pipes is what you're hearing knocking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you got anything? They'll tell the homeowners, okay, look, this is what we caught, so it's very possible that you do have a hot. Yeah. Check it out. You know, check no, your plumbing. But, but yeah, yeah, I like that, um, dead files too because Steve will do that. He'll call in the plumber. He'll call in oh. somebody to check. Oh, yeah. Because he's half, I don't think half the time he's like, uh, well, yeah, are you kidding me? The popularity <laughs> of ghost hunters was so big, and yeah. then they kind of it went to the wayside for a little while. Remember that? Like, there was really yeah. not too many ghost shows, and all of a sudden, Dead Files came in, yeah. and it was, it was like this breakout hit. I really don't think that they were expecting the popularity that they uh, got. Probably not, but they're, I love those two. They're great. He does all yeah, the research so and everything, and... It's amazing how it co you know, it just gels together. It's you know, the it's Dead wild. Files always creeps me out. I mean, yeah. it always does. But yeah. what, what's the one for you that like really stood out? Ghost Asylum. No, I'm talking about the Dead Files episode. Oh, which one? Um, God, Are you making me choose? I mean, like, is there one that like really like just like stuck with you? Like, oh, like. Because there's some of them I've watched them, and I like I had to sleep with the lights. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one um, where there were just um, there were Native Americans all in the graveyard there. They were all surrounded the house. Then she had a psycho one outside in the yard, and I, I think that oh, was yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, that one was bad. Yeah, it was. It was, and then crap going on in the house. They had. Um, some spirits in there causing issues. So, yeah, that one was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She's I think I, the, the ones that involve kids always bother yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. The ones where she's like, okay, they've attached themselves to your You're, kids. And, and they're like, oh. Just, and just the way she she just casually sort of yeah. just blurts blur, blur, well, he's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> what if I don't do this? Like, well, he's going on. to die. You know, you can sugarcoat it a little bit. You ain't gonna like make it all licorice and rainbows, but you can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Or, or she'll casually say, "And it's caused by because your child is a medium." Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> the faces she makes when yep. she's on. Oh the yeah. <laughs> you, you can tell over the years she's trying to contain it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because the first episode is like, I mean, you, you really thought like she was going to go into like an epileptic seizure or something. Cause she just like, I mean, her face contorted yeah. almost, you know? Yeah, yeah. And now it's like she's, I think she's calmed down, but still she'll smile. Yeah. Like not move her lips and like, oh, they, yeah. they want to kill them. You know, yeah. What? Yeah. He wants to kill me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's crying. <laughs> he's totally freaking. He's strangling me right now. Beep insane. Yeah. He's totally freaking insane. And I, there was one that was really sad with that that one little girl that um that the ghost the sixteen year old that was that was killed and it was sitting right by the table by her and yeah. he was making her cry. Oh that was yeah. Horrible. Yeah. That one really got to me. Yeah. She goes. He's sitting right there. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, the breakout of that show was, like, just amazing. Yeah. I don't think anybody expected the popularity. Uh, probably not, but there, I love that show. Um, My favorite, I think, of all the episodes, though, the funniest is 
that one jerk that was trying to make his hotel into a haunted hotel. Oh, they yeah. Wouldn't even say, they wouldn't even say where he was located, and mm-hmm. they won't even, they, they, they never repeated that episode either, no. ever. No, they didn't. He pissed Amy off so bad, and Steve. Yeah, yeah. That they, they, they aired it one time because that was the contract, and they right. never aired it again. No, I've never seen it again. Nope, and they they wouldn't even say where the guy lived. Nope. They said it was somewhere in California. Yeah, because he flat out did it because he wanted to market it as a haunted yes. hotel. Yes, yes. And Amy was, I mean, I mean, just the look on her face was like, you son of a bitch. Yeah, with that, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Looks could kill, yes. He mm-hmm. definitely would have been dead, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you know, they never heard it again. No, I've not seen it. And they do that repeat. one time. Yep. You're right. Absolutely. They never did. Um, what did you think of Long Island Medium? <sighs> I've heard different things about her. So it's like, I believe that she has talent, but... <laughs> I do believe that some of the stuff that's it's not random, like they say. Okay, what was that? Why do what? We, you didn't hear it? All what? of a sudden, it sounds like wind blowing through. Oh, and that's probably my air conditioner. Maybe. I don't think so. You'd hear it all. It just goes like staticky for about ten, 10 seconds, and then it stops. Stop it. That's weird. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hearing it. I don't know what it is. It'll do it for huh. about 10 seconds and then stop. It's the second time it's done that. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just wonder, because there are mixed reviews about her. I've not. I've watched her a couple times, but nothing major. I'm not. Yeah. I believe that she has actual talent, but I think the producers and stuff like that had so much pressure on her that yeah. she may have allowed them to do pre-snooping for her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 it's possible. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan, I, but... I, I'm not a fan of her personality. There's something about her that just bothers yeah, me. Yeah. But that's just that, you know, the whole with her, you know, five-inch long claws and her big hair. I don't know. Yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah, just, I agree. I'm just, there's something off somewhere there. I don't know what it I is. Don't know. But, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I, it's one of those shows, like, if it's on, there's nothing else on, I'll watch it. But it's like, it's not something that I purposely put on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let us know what, what you think out there. What are your favorite shows out there? What about that one that was, uh, that actually got busted? Oh, what the hell yeah. Was his name? Oh, yeah. Who was that? Uh, he had the same name as some politician too. Yeah. But yeah, he uh he got busted. Let me see. He got busted. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> We're typing in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh, oh, that something, right? Yeah, I can't remember. I remember that, but I can't remember the name. But anyways, this man, he actually got busted going because he would like, what he would do is people requested tickets to be in his audience. And... What happened is anybody that was close by or within like a hundred miles of the studios, the producers would claim to like break down in front of their house or whatever. Uh huh. And they would go in, they would look at pictures, and they would talk to these people and ask questions. And oh, and that was he was from Paranormal State, Ryan Bruel. No, not him. There were so no. I'm talking, no, it wasn't him. It was uh. He sold tickets for conversations with the dead tour. Yeah, but there was a different guy. This was like years ago. Okay, well, he was too. Oh, what the heck was that? That guy's name. It was a medium. Hmm. And he had 
the same name as a politician. What the hell was that guy's name? I did not think. No, it was John. I take it back. Okay. John. It's all coming back. Hold on. Okay. Edwards. Oh, yeah. I remember him. It was years ago yeah. when people were claiming that he was, like, producing. He had a show, like, yeah. And people, like, they, they would request tickets to his show. Yeah. And producers would drive to these people's homes and, like, pretend to break down in front of their house or whatever or bump into them in the grocery store and start yeah. asking questions. Yeah. And they, you know, or see a picture on the wall of, an, oh, is that your grandpa? Oh, he passed away. Well, and they would tell him about this, supposedly. Yeah. You know, but this is what people were claiming and the producers were claiming was happening. Of course, he denies it. Yeah. Yeah. He denies it. Crossing 100%. over. Yes. Crossing over. And that was a big show for a while. I mean, even like rock stars were oh, like, yeah. Jason was on it. Oh, yeah. Yes, John Edwards crossing and over. And John Edwards got so mad at Gene Simmons, he actually walked off the stage. <laughs> walked out of the session. Because Gene Simmons was like, no. No, he's like, like, okay, and I see this, and you're He's like, no. Gene Simmons was like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and John Edwards actually walked, I remember him walking off the session because he got so mad at Gene Simmons. <laughs> because he claimed that Gene Simmons was like purposely saying no when yeah. you know so <laughs> <laughs> you're messing with him yeah crazy so, yeah there's a there's a lot of them out there right now that are you know there, there's another one where I don't know if it's a brother and sister or if they're friends or whatever I forget the name of that one there's a whole bunch of them out there right now yeah yeah Paranormal shows that they're trying out, and like I said, the success of the Dead Files, I think. Oh really, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Really yes. set them in the outer space because I don't think anybody expected that. No, they they're something else. Just how they do it is. Yeah, and well, and it's so funny because Ghost Adventures and Dead Files both are really high ratings for the Travel Channel, and they're like the opposite type of show. Yeah, yeah Zach is really getting on my nerves lately. It's like God. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but There's wow. something with him. Like I said, when he first started, he kind of was like a cartoon character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he almost reminds me of, like, this smug... Yeah, thing. yeah. I don't know. It's like there's just something almost like he's... He thinks he's in tune with something that nobody else is. That's it, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree there. I yeah, there's something. There's, there's something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I honestly don't know. There's something that's like, uh, there's something way different. Uh, oh, maybe it's Paranormal Witness I don't like. It's one of those. I don't like that one. Paranormal that's the Witness. one where they do like the reality where they're talking about what happened to them. Yeah, yeah, it's just boring yeah. to me. I don't know. It's set up like a documentary. Yeah, yeah. Just doesn't keep my interest. It really doesn't. It depends on which which book they're talking about. Like there was one that really tripped me out, you know. But there's a couple of them like whoa. <laughs> yeah, but yes or no? Well, I don't know. That show, My Haunted House. Oh, I've seen also, it. Like, I haven't watched it though. I haven't even. That's also like a documentary. Yeah, one. yeah. That one kind of freaks me out a little bit. I gotta be honest. Really? I haven't watched it. Yeah, honestly. it really does. It it really bothers me. Sometimes cause some of the stories are like really free. What about paranormal caught on camera or caught on tape? Oh yeah, that. Eh. I've seen some of them are really cool, but then yeah. some of them it's like that they, they show are like stupid. It's like, yeah. why are you even showing this? That's not paranormal. I know, right? Like the freaking dragonfly thing that they saw oh, yeah. the area. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a fairy. It's like bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. That. That. And yeah. I don't. I've tuned in once in a while, but yeah, I've got that, and yeah, I'm just like, okay. Some of them That's are the, freaky, that but a seal on the rock that they were trying to say was a mermaid. <laughs> I know, right? Some of it's totally off the wall with them. 
Um, another one of my favorites is, and I love these guys, Ghost Asylum. But they did um, Haunted Towns this past year, this year, and I loved it. Uh, the Tennessee Wraith Chasers. Those guys are great. They, I love them. They're entertaining. I like them. Yeah, yeah, they're funny, but they're serious too when they need to be. And, yeah, yeah, you know, and I just think I like how they're always playing jokes on each other. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Though a couple of times they got them, it was funnier than hell. Uh, but I think uh, I like them. I I think they're like uh, people can relate to them easier than like Zach. You know what I'm well, saying? Yes, well, well, they also they go into situations they're trying to find out what's going on versus what they already know. Right. Do you exactly. know what I mean? Like, I cannot stand these shows. Like, that's one of my biggest things with Portals to Hell that I don't like. Yeah. Because they go in with information that they already know, and that's what they're going on. Instead of trying to find out, like, what's going on, if they can catch anything, they're going on the story. Right. Very, so, that's true. That's true. I don't, I don't like those kind of shows. That's the same with Ghost Adventures. That's why yeah. I don't like them. Because they go in with this, this preconceived notion yes. of what's going on. But Ghost Avengers does try to, they, they do try to collect evidence, too. I yeah. will give them that. But they still go on the assumption that it's just one thing and that's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't even think about, you know, hey, maybe it was the land before this building was there. Right, there's no the murder that research. Took place, yeah. There isn't yeah. a reason why right. this place is haunted. Ooh, you know? What do you think <laughs> when they bring on uh, Ghost Adventures, when they bring in uh, the priest and the sister? Oh Lord! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I. Do you think that's? See, this is another thing I have a question. I've always wondered about this. You just you just brought up a question in my mind. Yeah. A lot of people are like against like Christianity right now and whatever, saying yeah. that it's this, that, and the other thing. But why is it? Every time that it has something new with a ghost or demons mm -hmm. or anything like that, they always bring in the the Bible and holy water and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the first go to item. So it's like, so why is that? If it's the wrong thing, then why why is that the right thing to go for? Because society is saying it's the wrong thing. Well, why do they? But, but you you know what I mean. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, yeah, yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I've just always wondered that. They say that priests have no powers, but priests are the ones that actually bless the water to make it holy water. Exactly. So yeah, that are used in exorcisms also. <laughs> so I don't know. Just, a, just just a you know because in, at, I think. In case you're wondering, question. I'm wondering. Yeah, too. at the end of it, I'll say you know. Um, I think it boils down to even you know these people that are saying in Christianity, this Christianity that they're laying there dying. They're going to change their minds, probably. Maybe yeah. I, don't I, know. I think I it's guess just, what you're predisposed to, maybe. Yeah, it could be. You know, so, I don't know, I just, like I said, that was just, you brought up the ghost of that's something I've always wondered yeah. about. It's yeah. like, because technically, according to, according to, like, the Bible, they tell you not to go ghost hunting and things like that, that it's against, you know, that it can't happen, that it's not what it is, it's all this, this, and this, but then they bring in this ghost, the, the, the priest and mm -hmm. the nun to go ahead and exercise the demon or whatever's in right. there, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. it just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, it's just food for thought. Um, yep. Yeah. But I love so Ghost Asylum. I, I really do. I, um, yeah. I, I, the guys are great. You know, they work together well. Um, again, they go in and try and see what's going on and then um, take it from there. But they're, yes, they are entertaining. I think they're great. Um, it's it's right up there to me with the Dead Files and Ghost Hunters. Absolutely. You know what show I really really liked, and it's not on anymore. And he was the nephew of oh, Ed Loving Warren was uh, Haunted Collector. Collector. Yes. I really liked that yeah, show. That was and a good show. John Zappis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I was really I really liked that show a lot. Yeah, I did too. I, I don't I, know if something happened to him. Did he get sick? Or um, I'm not sure. 
I you thought maybe he was getting up there. Him. He's getting up there in age too. I mean, I know, but he had a daughter that was there. She could, yeah, take daughter it up. and son. Yeah, he's got that museum in Connecticut yes. there, but yeah, uh, it's a. Uh, I don't know. I just yeah, I, I really like that show. So yeah, I I, that was my next one I was going to bring up because yeah, I I I like that show too because it was kind of cool. Yeah, because he's another one that went in there like not assuming right that things were bad. You know, he went in there and checked everything. And then, like, if he found something, he's like, okay, this is what your problem is. I'm taking it with me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let me see. What happened? Three seasons, but what happened? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I really like that show. That um, was good. And uh, be, that's before I even knew he was related to him. Yeah. That was that blew my mind. I'm like, whoa, runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that he was no. there until. Um. They just didn't renew it, but why? <sighs> There must have been a reason. Was it low ratings? Or? Yeah. No official statement has come from sci-fi to the reason behind the cancellation. But if you think about it, though, like society itself has been predisposed yeah. to like kind of stuff for a very long time. And you think about just like as you're a kid, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there were ghosts and things like that. You know, Pac-Man had the ghosts. I mean, it's like just like it's in your psyche. I know. Why? To want to know more about these things. And I know it's like weird examples, but if you think about it, it's just like little subliminal things. That's like I I know in a couple of them, you know, where'd you get this? Oh, I saw it at a garage sale. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw it and it just, you know, I really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> it just said they didn't renew it. Doesn't say why. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. There must be a reason. Yeah, something. But yeah, I really liked that show. Yeah, that was good. I'm trying to think, what are those other ones? There was a few other ones. Yeah. What about that thing years ago? And they, they did a, sh a show about it. I can't remember what show it was on. But where it was live on NBC, uh -huh. like these birds were surrounding these ha this house. And like there was a there was an exorcism of the house and it's like it was live on TV. Hmm. It's on NBC. I, I don't know. So I thought that was kind of neat. And that was back in like the late seventies, early eighties. So this is like a fascination that's been going on for a long time. This isn't like a new thing. No, no, no. A lot of not. people think that that this is a new thing, but it's like no. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's yeah. been going on for a long yes. time. And like Ed and Lorraine Warren, Ed was Ed Warren was not a ghost hunter. He no. was a demonologist. Yes, there is a difference. Casey didn't know. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be like a psychic or something, or a medium. Was that what it was? A medium? She was. Uh, like a psychic. Yeah. <coughs> I bring up them a lot because they are like kind of like the the grand. Yes. Yes. Our grandmother of like all of these stuff because this they are the ones that got people into this type of deal. Like really people really became interested because of them. Uh-huh. Yes, absolutely. Um a demonologist is somebody who deals with uh the demons. They study them and their beliefs about demons. Um, the methods used to control them. Um yep. 
So that is what like, he was. Like, who's taking care of their stuff? That's what I'm wondering. I, they had like this whole thing in their home, of, like these demons encased in glass, and yeah. every two weeks or something, they had to have somebody come in and bless yeah. the glass. And but who's um, doing that now? Let me. Is it their daughter? Could be. I've often wondered that. Like, mm -hmm. since they're both gone now, like, who's yeah. doing? Like the Annabelle doll, you know? The real Annabelle. Which, by the way, is a gigantic raggedy yeah, Annabelle. Doll. Yeah. Okay, we're going to find out. Um, the Occult Museum, yeah. But they have to have that come in. Uh, let's see. Who's taking care of it? That makes me wonder. I've always wondered about that. Like, they got all these things in there that need to be blessed and this yeah, and this. Yeah, yeah. Or what they claim, you know, they had to be blessed with this and holy water and charms and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it's like, yeah. who's doing it? I don't know. Let me see. I'm trying to find it. There is anything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I put in. Um, I would imagine their daughter. I would think. Yeah. Or maybe the nephew. Yeah, or John. Yeah, could he could have yeah. a part in or it? He, yeah. Or the or the great niece. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, so top three are dead files. Uh huh. Ghost hunters yeah. and the Tennessee. Wraith Chasers. That? Yes. Ghost Asylum. They did Haunted Towns this uh this year and it was really good. Um I enjoyed that. But yeah. Tennessee Wraith Chasers, yes, definitely. So those are the top three. Yeah. And then the worst ones <sighs> the, the Ghost, ghost Bait. bait. Uh, <laughs> horrible, horrible that's number one yes. worst on the list like ever. I, aren't they supposed to go in and help them, not put them through I that? Show. that? That bothered it, me. It, it, that was, yeah, that was, like, just horrific. Yeah, I think like, so, putting them through that. Was, well, like, somebody posted it was ludicrous. That, that's yeah. a good word for yeah, it. Yeah, very, very. That one, um, honestly, Ghost Adventures, for me, Yeah. I don't like it. I don't either anymore. You know, I'm not a big fan of Portal of the Hell with Jack Osborne and yeah. Katrina, only because, like I said, they go in there with the pre preconceived yes. story. yes. They're they're setting up this whole scenario and all these around things. the story. Just, Never mind what else is going on. Yeah, yeah. But they're not trying to really help anybody. They're yeah. just trying to prove. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, <laughs> just for entertainment purposes. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, but like the the worst definitely is Ghost Bait. That is. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the worst. Yeah, that was horrible. I watched yeah. like two episodes. And I, I'm like, what I are you doing to yeah. these people? Right, it was just that. That's just dumb. I, I did not like that show. Yeah. No, I didn't. I thought they were more putting them in more danger than they were helping them. I don't know. Yeah, I just no. Yeah. It's a big no. Yeah, Haunted Collectors okay. up there too. So the four, four top ones. I agree. I like John's yeah. office. Yeah, but I thought the ones that are like still available, like you can still watch. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. like on. Yeah, the the haunted collector definitely yes. is up yes. there as far as the best. Yeah, I love that show. Yeah. Um, but like as far as availability right now, um, the Dead Files, uh -huh. Ghost Hunters, and yes. the Tennessee Wraith what is it again? Tennessee Wraith yeah. Chasers. Wraith Chasers, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you also said Paranormal Asylum right now is real good, right? Because they were doing the haunted town. Mm, T.W. the race chasers were doing the haunted towns. Oh, okay. Yeah. But didn't you say Paranormal Asylum you like too? No. Oh, you don't like that one? No. Okay. Yeah. So we don't Paranormal like Paranormal Lockdown? You mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. That was with Nick Roth and Katrina. Yeah. Yeah, that mm. was another, it's same on the line of portals to hell. It's the same thing. She, see, Katrina to me seems more of like a entertainer versus yeah 
a paranormal investigator, par- you know what I mean? Yeah. But she, she also, on every show she's ever been in, she goes in with this preconceived mm-hmm. idea and story, and that's what she goes with. Like, yeah. she doesn't really try to dig into it, try to figure out what's wrong, and try to help anybody. It's right, just right. Show. Yeah, yeah. I so agree. she's always, I don't know why she's always bothered me in the paranormal field. I'm not saying that she doesn't do any good. I'm just saying, like, it just seems like every show she's ever been on, that's what it is. It's just a show. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, what was that Morgantown this year? That was good. Um, what? Morgantown. Um, I guess I don't know that one. That was with uh, the guy from Ben from um, Factor Fiction. He was the F- FBI guy. Okay. Um, uh, there was a medium and somebody else. Oh, I forgot about Factor yeah. Fiction. <laughs> um. That show was actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I like, liked it because they debunked some of it. Um, yeah. What the heck? Here, let me check. I do believe I have them on my list. Um, hang on, I'm digging through my list here. Because if I couldn't... On it down. Let me see. Something is in town. Um, the whole area was um, a lot of parent, the police were getting lots of uh, last year they had Nick, Katrina and somebody else there. Oh. What the hell? I'll find it. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers fact our fiction, but um, I do. Ben, the head guy, he's uh, was on that this year. Um, I love that show, actually. Yeah, that was a good show. Yeah, I they, liked they, it. they could easily debunk stuff, you know. There's another one too. Um, there's a guy on was it Discovery? I think it's Discovery. And he did, like, a lot of shows that, like, you know, like, they, they tried to find Bigfoot and, like, all these yeah. zoology characters, you know, and to try to, you know, confirm them or deny them. I thought I had them on here. Maybe I didn't. Uh, oh, Ghost of uh, Morgan City. It was a whole uh, season. Um, that was good. Because the police, they get... It started last year with... Um, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it, was, it started with Nick and Katrina and somebody else last year. They went to a town, the whole town, and they figured out what was the main cause that was stirring up the activity. Well, another town, uh, Morgan City... Uh, was the site this year, and um, emergency calls related to you know encounters uh, uh, that is in Louisiana. Um, ben Hansen, uh, psychic medium Sarah Lemos, and local historian and Jeremy Leonard. And they dig into the area's haunted history, and they be, begin this process because they get a call one place, and next thing you know, it's another place. Um, it was crazy. Um, and they work with the police department and everything on this. And as soon as they get a strange call, they go over there. And they've had some great, you know, um, experiences they caught, but that in this one, they found out it was one guy. And what they did. Um, was build the town over a cemetery. The bodies were still there. And they just wanted to be not forgotten and everything. It was crazy. But it was really kind of like good. Poltergeist where they did that. They moved the headstones but not the body. Yeah. Yeah. They the whole city city was built on this graveyard. Ew. Yeah. Makes yeah. you wonder how many they've ever done that too. You'd be surprised probably. You got cities oh, yeah, and cities, sure. you know. 
and they didn't move the bodies, which was not cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine being living in the house and then you find out like yeah. there's like ten bodies under your house, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And this one guy was kind of the founder of the city to begin an older guy. And he just wanted to let them know, basically. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was uh it's really good. I don't know what they'll come back with next year. But the police department actually called them in to do this investigation because it was all over the city, you know. You know, people walking past their windows, uh, lights going on and off. It was crazy. Oh, wow. Crazy, crazy. So. Morgan City, huh? Where's the, where state is that in? Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. Ooh, yeah, what Where's a surprise. Louisiana? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they have birds on top of this, you know. Yeah. The little ground there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, that was a good series. If you can catch it, go ahead. Called Ghosts yeah. of Morgan City. I'll look it up, see if it's streaming anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I would think it is. So, um, yeah, it was really good. All right, let me see what channel it was for you. And it was... It's on YouTube. Hmm. It was on the Travel Channel. Haunting in Morgan City. Yeah. I'll definitely have to check that. I'll check yes. into it. Yes, it was really good. I saw the Travel Channel, but I didn't see it. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. I always watch the Travel Channel. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> my favorites. Um, yeah, it's about time for me to turn on my sling again, though, because uh, Walking Dead's coming back on. You know so. it. You know it. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. It looks so good. Oh, I know. <laughs> it looks good. Hey, I gotta tell you something. This is totally off the subject here. Okay. But this is kind of like a recap of our machines thing, you know, the machines, rise of the machines yeah, type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, The other day, right, I mean, I had to take my granddaughter to her doctor's appointment because my daughter was running late, so I get there first and everything. Well, then my daughter comes in and she takes, she takes my granddaughter back and everything, and sitting in the waiting room waiting for them to come out and my facebook does i get this notification and it says people you may know and i'm like what the hell so i click on it and i've never gotten notifications for it before uh-huh so i click on it and it's this guy and i'm like i don't know there's no no friends in common nothing and i'm looking at it and all of a sudden i look up and like four seats over for me in the waiting room is the guy people i may know get out seriously Okay. How freaky is that? That's freaky. That your Facebook knows that this person's close to you and they're recommending that you be friends with this, this total stranger. Okay. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. So apparently it has this capability now. Oh, great. Yeah. That isn't that so nice. like when, when you get those those you know people you yeah, may know yeah. they're like you're like why would I know this person you know yeah, I never heard of them <laughs> yeah Whoa. Then you know why that they could be sitting three seats over from you oh or that's... four seats over in my case yeah oh that's bizarre <laughs> yeah I was like I look at that I kind of looked up I'm like oh my god I look down I look up I look down I'm like oh my freaking god is that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I just don't, I don't pay attention to those, I really don't. Well, I never really do either, but it's like I've never gotten an actual notification for it. Yeah, no, I've never It'll been. usually just like, you know, you randomly click on it at some point in yeah. time, like, you know, yeah. like, I don't give a crap about this, you yeah. know. But this actually sent me a notification, it said people you may know, and there was like a list at the top of the list, and I was like, wait, no, we don't even have any friends in common, yeah. that's funny. I know this guy. Yeah, who the no, hell is and Like I said, I just happened to look up, and I was like, what the? I look down, I look up, I look down, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, is that guy? Whoa, that's creepy. Ooh. And I was telling a couple people, that, and they were telling me it's happened to them before, too. Oh, really? I'll be in, like, like a restaurant or something, and they'll get a people you may know, and it's somebody that's sitting in the restaurant. Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> The oh, rise of the machines, people. You got it. You got it. Another, uh, a, another good example of it. Oh my God. Exactly. 
we were talking about this uh, a few weeks ago. Yes. About how computers and things like that are starting to really take over. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And, and in fact, when I was in the doctor's office, they were showing me these pamphlets of these things where, you know, like I was telling you about the nanobots. They, are, yeah. they already have yes. that. Yes, they do. Where they can get in your bloodstream and tell them what's going on. Well, now they have these things. I don't know if you've seen the commercial for them. Like for diabetics, they just stick in their arm and it stays there, and they just, like, scan their phone yeah. in front of yes. it, and it's yeah. Yeah. information to the doctor. Yeah. Yep, I've seen that. That's crazy. So now we've already got things plugged into us. Yeah. That, uh, Think about that. <laughs> yeah. You know, what would happen, you know, if it went on, you know, went bizarre and it wasn't giving you the right readings? I mean, you don't exactly. know. You're going by what it's telling you. Exactly, and then now they're talking about chipping babies, which they've already been discussing that, but now it's yes. like actually pushing forward. They're wanting to put the chips in the babies in their necks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't agree with that. You know, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm glad I'm not... I don't agree with that either. No. Well, they're talking about doing it with the old people. Oh, now. yeah, I know. I know. They've already got, like, these... <laughs> it's so sad. Some of them have what they call wander guards on them. Oh. Where, like, they go near a door and an alarm goes yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. So that's what they wear, like, is on a wrist or their ankle or something like that. But now they're they're literally talking about putting chips in old people. Yeah. Like, in their... In their um, in their their wrists, so uh, that way like, when they're giving medicine stuff like that, you can just scan the wrist to, you know, make sure it's the right dose or you know all that kind of stuff. Uh huh. So and what else? Jeez. Well, if you think about it, we're we're really going on the same network now. They got these networks. Yeah. Where they can literally go back, like God knows, you know, twenty, thirty years, and tell you when you had your last freaking Pap smear or whatever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They can they can go back so long and be like, oh well, you had this, you had that, you had you know. And you're like, what the? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where did we get that? Yeah, that's it's kind of, you know, it's to the point where it's almost like, you know, it's like an invasion of privacy already. Oh yeah. You know, everything's in the network. Oh yeah, exactly. Crazy. So so pretty soon it's going to get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Where you can watch, it'll first be like a like a bracelet or something, mm -hmm. and it'll in any. It's already starting. We already have chips on our credit cards. Yep. And yeah. it's gotten you know to the point where the the strips don't even work anymore. Nope. No, they don't. You know, if you do the wrong thing three times, you can swipe it, but then they claim that puts you like I don't know somehow to thieves or something, whatever. But yeah, so you use this chip. And your credit card and everybody has one. And it's going to get to the point where we're going to be cardless. Yeah. Because yep. they already use fingerprints. Like, yep. I believe it's Wells Fargo that you can use your fingerprint at their ATM now. Yep. Pretty soon you just flip to the wrist. There you go. Exactly. So, it's going to be scanning your wrist over a thing. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. you, yeah. I think uh, so. What at what point do you stop? Right. You know what? You have I to. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna stop. I think it's just gonna keep going and going until they basically the machines take over. <coughs> Excuse me. I agree because they're starting now. But like I said, who's this? If you're you got that thing in your arm for your diabetes, okay? What if it's on the fridge? You don't know it. Exactly. You don't exactly. know. Exactly. How do you even calibrate that? Yeah. I mean, you know, you're thinking you're okay because it's reading. You're fine. And then you go into a, a sugar coma or something. Right. Yeah. So. I don't you know. Well, yeah, I don't trust that. No. I don't trust anything no. like that. But, uh, you know, like you said, it's going to come to that. Yeah. It's going to be... What 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 do they first test on animals? Animals. They dogs chipped for years. Yes. Yeah. Case so, they get lost. Yep. So it's gonna come to that. 
Now they got it. They, they've got us carrying chips. Yes. They're clever. It's oh, yeah. credit, we have no choice. Yeah. And that's what's going to happen with the chips. It's going to yeah. get to the point where we have no choice. Mm-hmm. They're going to be like, oh, we don't we don't accept that kind of chip anymore. We only accept this. So it's going to get to the point where we're being forced to. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we had no choice in the credit card chips. They just did it. Nope. And just like the babies, they're pretty soon they're, you know, parents aren't going to have a choice. Oh, yeah. It's going to be... Well, a, they, well you know, they, they, they do all these tests right there when they're yep. born, you know? Yep. So. Yep, scary stuff, scary stuff. It is very scary. So, speaking of scary... Yeah. I had to discuss, <laughs> we're talking about ghosts and stuff. There's these people out there that believe, and they strongly believe this, that ghosts are not ghosts. Oh, yeah. Mm. They're aliens. Okay. That they are aliens that have the ability to cloak themselves, mm-hmm. and they they are able to move about, and that's what you're actually seeing and hearing. So why do they look like they're out of a Victorian era, or why do they sound like a relative? Or I don't know, but I'm just saying that's what these people believe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I believe that some of that might be possible. Yeah. You know, yeah. anything's possible. But I don't, I don't know. I just think too much evidence pointing the other direction. Yeah, yeah. I agree there. I agree. Versus it being an alien cloaked or whatever. If they're cloaked, they don't need, then they would look like an alien if you could see them. Well, they're claiming that they look like, like a, like a, a shadow on the wall. Okay. Like a white shadow and that you can see it move. So the and it has the ability to mess with your mind to make you believe what you want to believe, hear what you want to hear, see what you want to see. Hmm. That's what they're claiming. So they're, they're claiming that they're your shadow mind. people. Okay. I, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know either. I'd, yeah. Yeah. It's just some odd thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd say it was odd. Yes, definitely. I, okay, yeah, maybe, mm, yeah, not a majority of them, I wouldn't say that, no. Maybe yeah. a small 1%, even half a percent, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, I, I'm the same person, I believe just about anything is yeah. possible. So. Yeah, yeah, it's possible, but, but I don't think all of it. I just had to bring that up, it was just kind of bizarro. Yeah, yeah. Bizarro <laughs> thinking. Yeah, a tad. But, well, one person claimed that he actually bumped into the thing. They cloaked it, but they, they don't have, like, invisibility. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're still there, but they're just cloaked to make it look like they're not there. And if they can kind of blend in with any environment, he goes that he bumped into one, and it pushed him to get away. Oh. So how do you know it wasn't a ghost that did that? Right. When he claims that it was an alien. Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. I just... <laughs> Yeah. I don't know either. I was uh-huh. like, I, was, I bumped into him. Like, well, like, that's true. But yeah, he said that he bumped into one, and that their camouflage came off for a second. But he said it didn't look like an alien. It looked like a white, like a white, uh, almost like an angel type thing. But it wasn't human. Okay. Hold on, I'm reading this here. Okay. Okay. The cloaking, the cloaking came off, and it looked almost angelic, but it was not a human being. Okay. It had big eyes, small nostrils, and no mouth. That's weird. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ghosts look like that. I'm sorry, but okay. Go find the hole in Iceland and go down it to the center of the earth. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Why not, right? Hey, you never know. <laughs> I don't believe it, but okay. I just thought it was just something to bring in. Yes, to something you know, interesting. I thought that was uh, interesting tidbits here. Hey, anything's possible. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And it hasn't bothered him since? Nope. Huh. Okay. I wonder if, like, his, like if, if his theory is true, like they're just watching us. It could be. 
You never know. Oh, I believe they're watching us, but I don't know that form. But definitely watching us. Never, never know. Nope, that's true. That's true. We don't don't know for sure. So uh, September twentieth is coming up. <laughs> oh, I know. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen with that. That's going to unravel like crazy. It's September 20th, for anybody who doesn't know, that's when a bunch of crazy people are going to go and storm Area 51. Yes. Yes. Two weeks. And, yeah, and they're supposedly going to, they're going to just storm Area 51, they're going to find out what's going on, mm-hmm. which is really stupid because they announced it ahead of time, so let's say, like, this even does happen. Yeah. They've moved everything. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't seen anything online since right. they took it all down. <laughs> and if it's true that they have this alien capability, I'm sure they have things up to make you think you're looking at one thing when it's actually something mm-hmm. else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yes, like I do. Like holograms yeah. and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. It'll be in two weeks. We'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the new Men in Black? Uh, international? No. Yeah. It's, I mean, it, it's all right. It was like the greatest in the world, but yeah. it was pretty good. But I, there, there was part of it that I thought was interesting because it reminded me of what we were just talking about. There's a part where it's like you, you look at like something that looks like a blank alley. Uh-huh. You know, like, well, it's a blank alley. But then, like, she put her hand through, and, like, she got through this, like, it's, like, almost like a holographic barrier when she went through. It's, like, oh. a totally different scene was there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it makes you wonder if something like that is even possible. Yes, because, like, you can, I, we saw that mirror thing for exercising, yeah. number one, and something about changing your scenery outside. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah. That, you could probably take a picture of that alley. Yeah. Put the screen up, and you think you're looking at the yeah. but no, it's actually it's just not. a hologram. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, I think it's out there. That going on. Yeah, because they supposedly you could, you know, change your scenery out your window. You could be looking at mountains or the beach or something. And with actually, there's a house next door. That's neat. I want one. Yeah. But anyways. <laughs> yeah. But so, <laughs> yeah, they could do that. <laughs> so there you go. They could do that. Which is creepy on its own, but uh, yep. Right. Makes you question everything sometimes, and it's like, what? It really it? does. Well, like I said, they say that the government is like 20 years ahead of us or something like that. It probably is. So you look at 20 years ago, what we had and what we have now. Yeah. Compare then to what we have now, just us. Imagine what the government has. Yeah. Yeah. If they're 20 that. years ahead of us now. I believe that. I really do. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. I, and it comes to mind with that, um, about Area 51 with Independence Day, the movie. Yeah. The president didn't even know about it. <laughs> well, they say that there's levels of security. Yeah. Let me, yeah. I let, mean, me, uh, let me see. I know it's here somewhere. Yeah. yeah. You know, the president, nobody, even um, the defense guy, he had no clue. What? You know, and the weasel that wasn't telling him anything. Yeah. And, you know, that wouldn't surprise me a bit. Now that I could believe. Yeah, supposedly like the president's like only on like level five or something like that. Yeah, yeah. He's not even on the list to tell. He's not, you know, crazy. But I could believe that. It has something to do with military yeah. or something like that. Not military, but like world military type yeah. thing. Yeah. That's what they claim. I'm not saying this is actually... No. But that, you know, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. That they don't know everything. Because knowing Trump, he'd tell the world. Oh, of course. <laughs> so, they're not going to tell him a damn thing. <laughs> but you wonder... Well, this that, is something that, that I found interesting. That this is an actual truth. It's a... Well, it's actually a myth. You can't be political if you have a security clearance. Cause that's not true. Right. Because our president has supposedly the highest level of clearance 
you know, security yeah. clearance in our country, which if you look at the world thing, they're like on number four or something like that. Mm-hmm. The U.S. president. Like, they don't let... I can not believe that, too. Yeah, I could believe that. Because why would this guy get to know anything? Yeah, any of them, really. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. There's, if there's no reason to for them to know, they're not going to tell them. Oh, so, no. So, yeah, I could believe that. Hmm. Huh. That is interesting, though. Yeah. According to this, that it's civilian military agencies. That's one level. Diplomatic agencies. Mm-hmm. Federal law enforcement agencies. Intelligence community, like central intelligence agencies, stuff like that, and then the president. Yeah. Which I don't believe that. Uh-uh. I don't think our president gets to know everything. No, no, I don't think so either. No, they're not going to let him know because they don't want him having power over it. Yeah. That I can believe totally. So, we shall see what happens in two weeks. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I cannot wait. Cause that'll, our show will be on that night, won't it? Mm, 13th. No, it's on a Friday, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let me see. 20th is on a Friday. 21st. Well, so, we'll be on the next day. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be talking about it for sure. Guys. Oh, heck yeah, we will. That will be like our focus subject, depending on what happens. Yeah, and... yeah. Because I don't even know if it's... Because I know they shut down the one yeah. on Facebook. Have they shut down them all? I haven't seen a single thing on it. Nothing. Let me see. Yeah, see if you can find something. Seems like... Uh, yeah, they have one. It's a page. Storm Area 51. They can't stop all of us. Yeah. There's 402 yeah. people. That's only two days old. So I think what they're doing is they just keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's an event. Okay. They're, they're, it's back up again. 3.6 million. Yeah. Are going or interested. Uh-huh. It's Storm Area 51. They yeah. can't stop all of us. Yep. This is what it says. Details. We will all meet up at Rural Nevada and coordinate our parties. If we, if we, Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see the aliens. Uh-huh. Supposedly this was as a joke. This was put out there as a joke. It started. And people are yeah. taking it very seriously. Yes, very. It says 2 million going, 1.5 interested, and there's been 223,000 shares. Yep. So, that is pretty interesting. Yeah. Yep. Very. So, we'll see how many are going to show up. It says, where extra, extra trust, highway area 51, Friday, September 20th at 12 noon. And it's going to go through Sunday, September 22nd. Yeah, so it'll be all... It's going to be two days. <laughs> and you know you'll hear it first from us, yes. So very interesting. Crazy stuff, so. Yeah, definitely. There you go. If, yep. you guys, if you guys are dumb enough to go storm an Air Force base, do it up. Yeah, go for it. Yep. I was going to ask you something. I posted something in Planet B.O.B. today. It really has nothing to do with Ecto and Encounters. Well, okay. maybe I don't know. Okay. But I have noticed, like, at some of our grocery stores here, that uh-huh. a lot of the shelves are kind of empty or bare. Uh-huh. Is that going on where you are? Kind of. A little bit. Yeah, certain things. Yeah, not like everything. I'm not like talking like things aren't barren like they are like in Florida, you know, right, in her right, and yeah, right? yeah. I just noticed just like less and less food on the shelves. Hmm. So Yeah. What kind? Just Just like canned foods, things like huh. that, even like produce, meats. So Huh. Produce, yeah, I can believe that. 
It doesn't seem there's as much. Uh, yeah. And meats, yeah, that would... I was looking for something. I think it was last week, and yeah, they didn't have it, and I was like, hmm, interesting. But yeah, I meats and veg, uh, produce, yeah. That I can believe. I kind of noticed the produce, yeah, there's not as much. Um, yeah. It's like, do you have any in the back? No. So. Hmm. Makes you wonder what's going on. Didn't you say there's something with the farmers or something? Well, I, the produce, you know, it's like from all the rains and stuff, there isn't any. You know, nobody could plant. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just kind of updating a lot of different things yeah. from, oh, yeah. we have, we right have on. multiple shows, as you guys know. Yep. Oh. So. So anyways, so this show here was about ghosts, ghost shows, yes. things like that, paranormal shows. You guys would let us know which ones are your favorites. Absolutely. Favorites and, or even your least favorites or something you don't yeah. like. I want to hear about it. And of course, I'm always interested in the ghost stories. I appreciate it. Yes. And I apologize for the embellishment statement. I mean, I wasn't saying like she was lying about her story. I'm just saying sometimes people tend to do stuff, but she she always said no, there was no embellishment. This is exactly no. what happened yep. to her. Yep. Yep. Um, I just saw your post in there. Uh supposedly Libby's is closing. Oh wow, I did not know that. Yeah, somebody posted that. Let me see. She's kind of a smart ass too, so oh. mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh I'm not sure. Uh, Seneca Foods. Huh. Libby leaving Chicago. Oh, wait a minute here. Let's see. Why are they leaving Chicago? We're going to find out. The canned food company founded here 117 years ago will close all its Chicago operations within oh, the wow. next 6 to 15 months. Libby is dissolved as a corporate unit of Nestle. And Libby's product lines are divided between two other Nestle units. Nestle Foods of New York and Carnation of Los Angeles. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Hmm. And they'll can still, even though they're from at the other plants, they'll still carry the Libby label. So, hmm. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Wow. So there you have it. After 117 years, that's bizarre. You think we need more food, not less. All right. I, I don't follow this thinking. I really don't. I, I don't either. It's like we have more people in the world. Why are you closing plants? I don't get it. I don't either. Hmm. Must be a reason. Yeah. Trying to starve us all out. Yep. Something. That, does that make sense? I mean, it really doesn't. Oh, absolutely not. We have more people in the world, but we're closing these plants to go to other plants. Well, it makes no sense. You think we need more? I don't know. Silly me. What am I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, silly me for... But, <sighs> if there's anybody out there that has anything to add to this or add anything for the show, let us know. Uh-huh. Where at? Uh, we're at KBLV LLC on Facebook and KBLV LLC 4 on YouTube. And you can also access the shows through Encounters and Ecto on Facebook. Mm-hmm. This show, anyways. Yep. Yeah. 
And then our other show that we have is Planet B, period O, period B, period. Yep. Um, you can also go to our horror sites. Yes, we have horror groups. Yes. We have True Horror Junkies, mm-hmm. Horror Clearing Circus, and Ghoulies and Gremlins. Yay. Right. Yes. Yay, I got it yes. right. Yes. So, so, yeah, there you go. Like, go check it out. And, of course, support your local movie theaters. Go oh, yeah. see it in the theater. You're going to love it. Yep, yeah, I'm going Tuesday, so yes. So, yes. Yes, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely going to be good. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Not yet, no. I want to. Yeah. Okay. Till I hear from you that you've seen it, I won't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I don't slip. So That's why I asked if you've seen All it yet, because right. if I see it Tuesday, I don't want to tell you nothing. No, I want to. Yeah, definitely going to see this. And then, of course, his book comes out. The Institute. Oh, yeah. Not long after, so can't wait for that one. Can't wait for it. So good. Yeah. And remember, top three, Dead Files, mm-hmm. Ghost Hunters, and Tennessee Race Racers. There you go. Yeah. Definitely check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And also... The haunting of uh, what city of Morgan? Uh, um, Ghosts of Morgan City. Ghosts of Morgan City. Yeah. Check that out too. So. Travel Channel or YouTube. You can check the show out there. It's it was really good and it was interesting how it all came together. So it was yeah I enjoyed that. It was good. Well, there you go. Good evidence. Good evidence. So it was awesome. Okay. Anything Wait. else? Not that I can think of, and stay away from Ouija boards. Yes, yes, yes. Please stay <laughs> away from them. Yes, absolutely. I haven't touched one since I was, you know, a teenager. So, well, no, that yeah, was no. later on. We kind of did one, but it wasn't with a Ouija board. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We didn't have the board, so that was kind of different. <laughs> but yeah, please be careful. Anything to do with that? So. Exactly. Well, I guess that kind of wraps it up for tonight. Heck yeah. I'm getting tired now. <laughs> I know, I know, right? I bet you are too. Yeah, I've been busy running around, so. But I can sleep in, I'm on vacation. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. So, yeah, loving that. So, football tomorrow too. Yeah. So, don't forget sports on Tuesday night. Sports on Tuesday, and then yeah. pretty soon you're going to be getting back to The Walking, Walking Dead. Walking Dead, American when Horror Story. When are you doing that? You're going to be doing Walking Dead on Mondays, right? No, it'll be on Tuesdays. No. I'm going to have to pre-record it and do it on Tuesdays. Before, oh, there you go. Yeah, before um, sports talk. So Because there Wednesdays is a little late, and I don't want to do sports on Wednesday because Thursday's game's already coming up. So. And then... <sighs> Raising American Horror Stories. Oh, I can't wait. This should be a good season. The slasher. Oh, going back to the slasher. That's going to be good. That's right. going to be good. They're going back to the 80s. Ooh. So, that should be interesting. Can't wait. All Everything's coming up all at one time. And, of course, it's going to be Halloween. So, got Ooh. lots going on for that. So, stay tuned for more info. Absolutely, and we will keep you guys posted on anything and everything that we have going on on this show and our other shows, and we will keep you going, even if we have to talk about ghosts on planet B.O.B. and talk about grocery stores on this show, that's what we'll do. Yeah, heck yeah. We're going to cross them over. You know it. (laughs) Crossing over, yes. Oh, God, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. <laughs> oh, we forgot to tell them about our weird connection tonight. What happened? Tell tell them what happened. Oh my God, she! I said, "Well, what's the topic tonight? What are we going to talk about?" And she's like, "Oh, ghost hunting shows and stuff like." I'm like, "Excuse?" I'm like, "What?" I said, "Oh, that's totally weird because just two days ago, I downloaded a bunch of stuff about the shows and for the horror groups. I was going to do a paranormal day." 
So, and then she comes up with this, you know, that, oh, we're going to do ghost hunting shows. I'm like, are you serious? It is, so, and it just came to me, like, randomly. Yeah. So, I was thinking about it, because I just downloaded uh, pics and stuff, and uh, here she comes. Yep, we're going to do ghost hunting tonight. Okay. But did you know? <laughs> so, that yes. is weird. We're I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? We're, we're kind of spooky unto ourselves here. So, but yeah, so that was a weird thing. That's like the second time that's happened with this. Oh show. yeah, yeah. So we're just on the same wavelength. I think so. Yes. Crazy wave ride. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thanks for listening yeah, and we're again. Starting. I know, yeah. Let me start getting out of hand here. Um, (laughs) But thanks for listening. Anything you have to say, please let us know, okay? So have a great rest of your night. Um, Enjoy football tomorrow. Night, guys. Night, guys. (laughs) Peace out, y'all.
My makeup smeared And I'm looking for a fight And I'm out in London after midnight I wanna get on in I wanna break some stuff I'm going down to the pub and see Yes,